beautiful morning to spend on the waterfront. And right now, we're getting one of the best views of the Niagara River from a historic structure on the Black Rock Channel. News 4's Lauren Hall is live at the Fontana Boathouse. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. It is a perfect day out for a walk, a ride, or maybe a boat ride along Buffalo's waterfront. We came to check on the rowing community in Buffalo this morning in honor of the perfect weather. We are inside Frank Lloyd Wright's Fontana Boathouse right next to the West Side Rowing Club along the Black Rock Channel. And we actually are joined kind of by Frank himself this morning. Well, not really, but we are joined by Olivia McCarthy. She's from Explore Buffalo. She does some of the tours right here at the Frank Lloyd Wright Boathouse. Tell us about this house. He designed it a more than 100 years ago, but it wasn't constructed until 2007. Right. Um, well, this was actually designed for the University of Wisconsin rowing team. It was meant to be an auxiliary boathouse for them. And um, it really just came about, as I said earlier, with you know rowers who wanted to expand a bit. Um, but when we come down here into the boat bays, I like to point out a lot of details that you wouldn't really know if you just walked in here. So what are some of those details? Uh, well, the ceiling, uh, you've got some great wooden paneling. Also, the nice balance between artificial and natural light. Um, all of this was part of Franklin Wright's design. And it's still used as a collegiate rowing center as well, right? Yes, uh, Canisius College men's and women. Uh, they, they row out of this boathouse. There's also Mount St. Mary's Academy um, and some master rowers. What did it bring to the rowing community of Buffalo when this was built a couple years ago? Uh, it seems like a real sense of pride uh, that this is not just, uh, you know, the Franklin Wright Fontana Boathouse, it's Buffalo's Boathouse as well. We've got that nice mix of high school collegiate master um, and working with Westside Rowing Club, I think the, the Boathouse enjoys that as well. And you are the assistant director of Explore Buffalo who runs tours at places like this all throughout the city. What kinds of people come on your tours of the Fontana Boathouse? A lot of Frank Lloyd Wright enthusiasts. Uh, we've got a lot of rowers that come as well, but locals. Um, Frank Lloyd Wright probably brings in a lot of um, outside of Buffalo people, but, uh, but a lot of locals also. They haven't been down here before, and uh, it's something new and exciting to see. And what about our cutout here of Frank himself? Yes, a lot of people uh, love seeing that, and they take a lot of selfies with it at events and regattas. <laughs> all right, well, we'll have to take a selfie with Frank. Do you have him at all of your Frank Lloyd Wright locations or just here? Uh, I'm sure the other locations have some type of cutout. Uh, this is definitely our, our favorite, though. <laughs> he is definitely a Buffalo favorite for sure. Thank you so much, Olivia, for now reporting live along the Black Rock Channel in Buffalo, Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up. Thank you, Lauren. In Buffalo, we are coming up on tourism season, and right now we're going to take a look inside of one of Western New York's most popular spots. News 4's Lauren Hall is giving us a look at the Fontana Boathouse along the Black Rock Channel. Good morning, Brittany. This boat the only rowing boathouse that Frank Lloyd Wright ever designed. He officially or originally designed it more than 100 years ago for the University of Wisconsin rowing team, but it was never constructed until 2007 when the rowing community here in Buffalo came together and wanted to see it take shape right here next to the West Side Rowing Club or along the Black Rock Channel. So now it is used for its original purpose as an active rowing facility, but it's also used as an event space and as a tour space. Right now we have Brad Hahn with us. He runs Explore Buffalo. This is one of the many tour sites you have all over the city. Why is this a successful site for you to hold tours? It's a perfect place for people to come and understand a piece of Buffalo's architecture and history. It's an addition, a recent addition to our architectural landscape, but it really complements the other Frank Lloyd Wright sites that we have here in the city. And coming up on tourism season, you've already seen a boom in people signing up and taking your tours, right? We have. We have set some new records already, and we're just at the beginning of our season. Uh, we run the tours all through October, but we're already seeing uh, very large numbers coming out for our tours. Is it true you had more than 100 people come on a recent tour of the Mansion Row on Delaware Avenue? Yes. This past Saturday, we set that new record. 156 people showed up for a walking tour on Delaware Avenue. So you have all kinds of them. You can find them at your website, which we have posted a link to on Founded on Four's for.com. Thanks so much, Brad. We also want to bring in Martha Matthewson from the Fontana Boathouse. Martha, you run the event space here. What kinds of things can people experience when they hold a special event here? A lot of people um, rent out the space for rehearsal dinners and um, corporate uh, luncheons or cocktail parties. And I think that one of the best places to enjoy Buffalo is out on the balcony and you enjoy the sunset over the water and then the lights of the Peace Bridge is magical. 
The view speaks for itself, especially on a gorgeous, gorgeous morning like this one. We are coming to you live from the Black Rock Channel just outside the Fontana Boathouse. You can sign up to take a tour of the boathouse. There is one happening this Saturday. We posted a link to where you can do that under the Founded on 4 tab of WIBB.com. For now, reporting live, Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up.